everybody, welcome back to Tailor Toned. You have made it to your 30 minute follow along barless bar workout. If you've not hit subscribe, do that right now. Press the bell so you get notification every single time I upload a brand new workout. This one's gonna be a great one today. I'm very, very excited for it. You don't need any equipment, but I would advise you have something to protect your knees. I have a yoga mat. We're gonna be working on balance, coordination, and most importantly, we are gonna be burning, shaking, melting calories throughout. Let's do this. Bringing yourself into a standing position. I want you to stack your feet underneath your hips. Find a nice, gorgeous, neutral alignment through the body. Reach the hands to the side. Inhale in. Exhale, roll the shoulders backwards and down. Pull the belly button in again. Inhale through the mouth. Exhale. Keep those hands to the side. Straight knee and lifts. Go up, up, lift, lift. So straight into your traditional bar warm up today. Bending those knees, bringing the toes in front of yourself. Go lift, lift. Keep pulling up nice and tall through the upper body. Bringing the toe in front of yourself. Take a little bend through the knee. Let's wake up the body. Let's get energized. Up and up. So we're going to take something a little bit different today. You're gonna go, lift, drop down. So, you wanna bring it, hands go to the side, up, down. So, you've just gone, lift up, lunge back. Let's get the heart rate up. Go lift, lunge. Three, back to knee lifts in two. One, knee lifts up, up, up. Woo. Let's have a challenge for coordination and balance in your warm today. It's 10 minutes long. Woo. I'm out of breath already. Up. Then you're going to go the other leg. Let's do it. Lift, drop, up, lunge back, up, lunge. Really wish I had more room. It's going to get fixed soon, I promise. Lift, lunge. You got this up, push, up. Press, let's go five, let's go four, three to one second, two, one. Okay, bring your feet into a wide plane position, feet wide in the hips, sing the hips to the floor, reach the hands to the side. Now again, roll those shoulders backwards and down, see a natural turnout. Knees are pitched over the middle toe, inhale, exhale. Straight to an arm section. The way to go ahead, you're gonna to twist to your left side, mirror me, all the way around. Center open, other side, twist it around. So you just wanna duck that bottom knee to the floor. Keep those hips nice and low to the floor. Elongate through the spine. Reach the fingertips as long as you can. Twist it out. Lunge. Back to the centre. Three. Twist. You got it. Centre. Two more. Twist. Centre. This time you're going to hold this one to the side. Little bend. Reach. Bend. Reach. The legs are just in a lunge position. I want your fingertips in line with the shoulders. Tiny micro bend through the elbows. And a massive extension. You want to think about that intention of growing your muscles longer, leaner, so you want to lengthen. Find that eccentric contraction. Go, then press. Squeeze, you've got six, five, center and four, wide play coming up in two, one. Now back into that wide play, you've got this. Sink those hips lower, keep the hands to the side. Let's go, other way. Rotate, back to a bend and reach, then reach. So bend through the knees, weight should be nice and equal between your front and your back foot. Fingertips again in line with the shoulders. Slide your shoulder blades into your back pockets here. Create as much distance as you can from your ears to your shoulders. Pull the abs in. Maybe give those good little squeeze together here and tuck the hips under. For a thigh burn, you have five, four, three, two, one, center. Drop those hips low. Now palms are gonna go up. We're gonna go up, up, 
up, lift, up, lift. Press something heavy to the ceiling, pushing that coccyx, your tailbone towards the floor. Thinking about that neutral alignment through your upper body. So the head, so down here, it's not back here. You're just gonna go just neutral alignment, lift, eyeliners forward into the horizon. Looking into the horizon, looking towards your future body. Let's improve your body today. You have seven, six, you've got five, four, holding three, two, one. Twist it out, push the palms down on the gosh, now squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So exercise is not only good for your body, working on that cardiovascular system, working on developing yourself a gorgeous long lean body. It's also great for your mental health as well. Because I don't know about you, but I find when I work out, I can just really switch off, zone out of whatever you've been doing for the day. Because your mind is on the burn. It's like an escape from reality a little bit. Go squeeze the push, pull the palms down. Seven, six, you've got this. Five, push, four, let's go. Three, two, Hold. Now drop the hips lower. You're gonna turn the palms for me backwards. Oh, I know, little pinky up to the ceiling. Extend through the elbows, roll the shoulders backwards and down. Work those rhomboids, those muscles in your upper back, squeeze them together. Little tiny push, push, push. Now imagine you have a super heavy weight on your palm. You're squeezing it back. Let's go. Six, five, four to the floor in three, two, one. Oh, you're gonna step yourself so you've got enough room to walk out in front of yourself. I want you to bring the chin to the chest, find length through the neck, roll the shoulders forward, spinal stretch. This is great for mobilizing the spine, touch the floor. Take a bend through the knees, dip the coccyx down, and roll all the way up. We've got this one more. Tuck the chin to the chest, roll through the spine, get that sequential control of the spinal column. Hands go down, stay here. Hamstring stretch, can't quite straighten the knees, take a little bend, but just stay here. You should feel it stretch down the back of the legs. Now let the shoulders go, lose any tension, let the head go. Well done, walk the hands straight away into a plank, hands under the shoulders. And you wanna extend your feet backwards. Now everyone right now is gonna take that eye line in between your fingertips. So I'm not gonna do anything. We are taking an isometric hold here. Foundation of bar, that isometric hold, your muscles have an ecstatic contraction. Now I want to squeeze your inner thighs together, squeeze the glutes together. Feel it in the lumbar spine, the lower back, tuck the hips under. We're not trying to be a duck here. You're trying to think about an elongation through the spine, improving your spinal health. Inhale, exhale, you've got 10, 9, 8, 7, lower down to the forearms in 6, in 5, forearms in 4, forearms in 3, in 2, in 1. Now lower to the forearms. Drop the arms down so you make a number 11. Imagine your arms are like train tracks. They must run along the side of each other. Shoulders over the top of your elbows. Now squeeze your belly button towards your spine. Imagine you've got a super hot pair of jeans. They just come out the dryer. So the zip, it's hot. You've got to pull your lower abs away from the zip. Away from the zip that will help to work your pelvic floor. Now squeeze the belly button in as you Fasten the buckle, the button, inhale. Exhale, you're gonna dive your left fingertips to right elbow in five, in four, in three, in two, in one. Rotate the fingertips, make a letter L, and then roll to the side. We've got this nice deep breath, inhale. Exhale, now embrace your inner ballerina. Float the hand over the head, tap down to the thigh. Whew, over the head tap to the thigh, keep going with this. Modification, if you want that modification, just lower the underneath knee away from the floor. This one is great for working on side strength of the body. So you're working on your obliques, you're working on stabilizing through that shoulder joint. You're working on those abductor muscles in the outside of your thighs. Woo, great core exercise. Hand over the head, one more, sweep the hand down over the head, now back through center. You're gonna roll it back on towards those forearms. Modification of your forearm plank, you can always drop to the fleshy part of your knees. You're gonna rotate other side. Let's roll it round, sweep the hand high. You're gonna float it over the top of the head. 
make that movement beautiful. Make it fluid. You are flowing from one move into the next. Now use the breath, inhale. Exhale, breath will help you get through the action. Sweep the hand over the top of the head. You've got two more here. Tap the thigh over the head. One more, tap the thigh. Let's do it over the head. Now you're gonna roll through center again. So push in on towards those forearms. And you've got 45 seconds here of a plank hold. I know that you can do it. We're in it together. We've got this. Make sure your heels, they're stacked over the top of the toes. So we're not back, we're not forwards. We've got heels over the toes. Eye line just in between your thumbs here. Elongate through the spine, squeeze the glutes together. Feel it in the lumbar spine. Tuck the hips under. Zip up the waistline. Brace up pelvic floor. You have just 15 seconds. Pull your belly button away from the mat. You don't want to be sinking into the shoulder girdle. You want to be about halfway up from pulling all the way out and dipping down. You've got eight, seven, you've got this six, five child's pose in four, three, let's go, two, one. Whew. What a warm up. Toes together, open the knees. I hope you loved that warm up. That was a really energetic one. You're going to roll through the spine, give yourself a little shoulder roll round. Okay, we're gonna go straight into some booty, some seat work here. We've done quite a bit of thighs in that warm up. So you're gonna lower yourself to the floor, bring the hands around the hips. Now lift the hips up and away. You're in a bridge position. So I don't want your feet all the way out here. I want you to make sure your feet, they're in line with your sit bones, in line with your knees, and you've got a 90 degree angle when you've lifted your hips up and away from the floor into a shoulder bridge. Tailbone, you want to slightly rotate and tuck it under, squeeze the glutes together. Now this is really, really important for me right now. Your side on to the TV, whatever you're watching me on, laptop, whatever you're watching me on, the leg closest to your device, lift up to the ceiling. Who do I think I am, device? You're going to lower, then this leg halfway so it comes in alignment with the other leg and then squeeze it back to the ceiling, use the breath. Inhale, flex the foot. Exhale, push to the ceiling. Inhale, flex the foot. Exhale, push. You got it, press it down. Let's do it, lift it up. I want your hips definitely away from the floor. The hips, they are the same level up and away from the floor. So if one glue, if one butt cheek is dropping lower than the other, pick the other side up. Make sure it comes in an alignment. It's like you're resting your hips on the top of a table. They both need to be the same height. Spread the shoulder blades across your mat, across the floor, wherever you are. Eye line is to the ceiling. All you are doing is lifting this leg up. Take a flex, lower it down. So the leg needs to come in alignment with this other supporting leg. Modification, you can always just hold the bridge position. One more. You're gonna squeeze the toe to the ceiling. Now you're gonna add a lift. I know. Now push the toe up. Whoo! Lift, lift. Squeeze the toe up. You're squeezing the glutes together, pushing those hips high. Press the palms to the floor. Drive your hips one inch higher. Up and away. You go squeeze, squeeze. You've got this. You just have ten to the hold. Nine, eight to stillness. Seven. Squeeze the glutes and lift. Five, four. Let's go. Push it. Three. Two, hold. This leg now that's closest to the device is gonna lower down to the floor and drop your hips at the same time. Now roll onto that leg. Send the arm to the side. You're in a side lying position. And you're gonna lift your top leg up and away from the floor. Got it? Yeah. You're gonna bend now your underneath knee. Create a little bit of support there for the base. Now you're gonna flex through the foot. Take a little lift, lift. So it's miniature. Double check here. You're not falling asleep, first of all, because your head is on your arm. Stay wide awake. Shoulders are stacked, heart shining forwards. The hips are also stacked, so don't let this top hip roll forward. Don't let it roll backwards. Hips are stacked. Belly button is in. You've got that base of support with the under leg, so you can really get a burnout with this top leg. If you want it harder, do you want that advancement? I know you do. You're gonna dive this toe 
to the floor and kick the heel. Squeeze, squeeze. So it's got real deep, meaningful intention. The intention of this exercise is to develop strengthen the side of your butt down through the all, all the way through those abductor muscles and you're toning up your butt here too little squeeze if it's burning it's working just give me 10 nice nine eight you've got this seven six let's go five four three two hold now point the toe you're gonna bend through the knee bring the leg forward if you can tight hamstrings do not worry, just extend the leg as much as you can. If it's just an extension, a tiny bit, well done. We go, bend it in, push in front, out to the side. One more, I know you hate me, hate me now, love me later. Now hold the leg to the side. You're gonna flex the foot. You're gonna turn that toe down to the floor again. Woo! And drive your heel, give me two more inches. Now go up and up and up. Now I want you to imagine you have an ankle weight on right now. So you've got a weight and it's strapped around the ankle. It's heavy. It is burning like crazy. Now drive the weight up and give me 10, 9. How much resistance can you create? You have just 7, 6. We've got this 5, 4. Let's go. 3, 2, 1. Woo! Okay, lift yourself up. Now you're going to flip it the other way. So I'm gonna turn around this way. You might want to mirror imagery. Lower down, hands go around the hips, lift into a bridge straight away. Front leg that's towards the device lifts, so make sure you've got your hips and your, your feet in line with the sit bones. Dive this leg to the ceiling. Keep the hips nice and level. Flex the foot down, point and lift. So I want you to go through all of those things that we did in the first side. You want your shoulder blades spread across the mat. You want a slight tuck under the tailbone that will help to activate your glutes that little bit deeper. You want to make sure your hips are the same level away from the floor and make sure you have that opposite leg in the air because we don't want one round per perky bum side of your butt and not the other. We go, squeeze and lift. Now breathe, inhale lower. Exhale, lift. We've well, got this. Inhale, lower. Now drive those hips one inch higher. If you are doing this right now and you're like, Gabby, this isn't burning, I want to squeeze your butt together. Push the hips higher. This should burn like bad. Squeeze the foot down. Well done, everyone. Stick with me. We go squeeze the toe down. Ooh, it's burning. Lift the toe up. Squeeze the toe down. So if you're feeling advanced, maybe you want to see how this feels. Remember, you can do this video again. It's not like a class where you go and you do it once and then the instructor never does it again. If you do this video again, feel, feel how it, see how it feels. I can't speak to I'm sorry. See how it feels with the hands off the floor. Next time you do this workout, could you do it with the hands off? If you can, give me everything on this next video. If you can do it right now, fabulous. Let's commit to it one minute with the hands up to the ceiling. We are squeezing the toe down. Exhale, push and lift, you've got it. Let's go. Exhale, lift, one more. Squeeze the toe down. Push it up, now hold. Make sure that supporting leg is in a 90 degree angle. You're gonna add a little lift. Ooh, that burns up and up. So you're pulsing your toe to the ceiling and as you pulse up, you're gonna squeeze your butt together, squeeze your glutes together. This is working on your gluteus maximus. So get yourself around. Perky bum go up, you've got five, four, three, side line in two, one, lower the hips down, remember lower this front leg to the floor, roll towards me now and send the top hand down, lift the leg up and away, flex the foot, turn the toe down, side line, it's time to work on the side of your butt, this other leg, little lift, bend the underneath leg for support, we go with a squeeze, squeeze. So if you want to take this full exercise with the toe down to the floor to get your maximum burn out, feel free. I want you to burn. I want you to shake with me today. Lift, squeeze, side of the foot to the ceiling. Don't hold the breath. I know it's so tempting to hold the breath when it gets to that super burny part and you're like, oh, I can't give you any more. I need to hold my breath. But please do breathe. Inhale, exhale, Ooh. lift. 
on your side of the heel to the ceiling. Push this hand down to the floor for support. Now remember all your cues this side. So you've got your shoulders stacked. You've got your belly button in. You've got your hips stacked. So one hip is on top of the other. Don't roll it forwards. Don't roll it back. You should feel this in the side of your butt. So into your gluteus minimus here. Gluteus medius at the side of your butt. All down those abductor muscles in the side of your leg. Go lift, go squeeze, and squeeze. You've got this. Inhale, exhale. You've just got seven, six, five to the change, four, changing in three, two, one. Same as first side. Oh my gosh, I'm burning. Extend the leg out. Whoo! And then back to the side. Now keep that leg on the same height. So it's like you're running your toe along the top of a table. It's gliding. It's a fluid motion. This doesn't burn. Definitely not. You can extend the leg forwards. Inhale. Exhale. This is great as well for those obliques. Great for the side of the body. One more. You're going to squeeze the toe to the side. You know what's coming. Flex the foot. Final 30 seconds. Turn the toe down. Now add a little lift. Lift, kick something heavy to the ceiling and squeeze, squeeze, add resistance here with the heel. Go push, press, imagine you're Pinocchio and someone is driving your heel to the ceiling. The foot is in line with the rest of the body. Go squeeze and lift. You've got 10, nine, ab section coming up here in seven, in six. We've got abs in five, in four, in three, two, one. Well done. Lower yourself on towards your back. Draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little rock side to side. We are going to stretch at the end. You're going to then pop your feet to the floor. Bring the hands around the side of your hips here. And then I want you to lift one leg into a tabletop. Pull the belly button down. Zip the waistline in. Put on those skinny jeans. Inhale. Exhale. Float the other leg up into a tabletop. Now squeeze your inner thighs together. Knees over the top of the toes. Knees over the top of the hips. You shouldn't be able to see your toes because they're in a 90 degree angle. Fingertips push to the floor. Inhale the breath in. Exhale. Now slide the fingertips along the floor and lift in towards a little crunch. Low back down to the floor. So this is option one. This is your advanced option here. If you can do it, absolutely fabulous. Keep going. If you want the modification, hands under the thighs, tuck the chin into the chest, hold that golf ball, eye line to the thighs, and roll back down through the spine. So again, you're working on sequential control, mobilizing through the spine. So you're working, this is your cervical spine, the upper part of your spine is the cervical spine. You're gonna tuck the chin to the chest. Really think about mobilizing through that. Then into your thoracic spine, which is where those ribs are, and lower back down to the floor. Whatever option you are in, you give me three. Squeeze up, lift and hold. Lower to the floor. Keep breathing, remember, don't hold the breath. We're in it together. We can do this. Low back down. Now last one, you're gonna hold it. Inhale, exhale, lift. Now everyone, rest for yourselves. Bring the hands underneath the thighs. Send the elbows wide, chin to the chest. Get hold of that orange. You've got an orange today in between your chin and your chest. Peel the head, neck, shoulders. A little bit high up and away from the floor. Now switch off the arms, switch on the upper abdominals, those rectus abs. You're gonna lengthen your toes to the ceiling, tight hamstrings, keep a little bend. Now open the knees into a V position, I know. You're gonna reach the hands through the center. Now you're gonna reach forwards, side, forwards, whoo, side, forwards, side, round the legs. I know it's hard to see all my angles. I'm sure you're doing it right. Modification, you can always just grab a hold of the outside of the legs, peel the head, neck, shoulders off the floor and give me a little crunch up, lift up to the side. We've got this, keeping your eye line forwards, keeping the chin tucked in towards the chest, looking through your legs. I think I'd hate it right now if my partner walked through the door and he's like, what are you doing? Or your mum or your dad walks through the door and you're like, in your birthing position, squeeze all the way up, reach all the way forwards and through. You've got two, one more. Now you're gonna close the legs, 
together, hands under those thighs, lift the head, neck, shoulders, up and away from the floor, lengthen those legs out, tight hamstrings, take a little bend through those knees, inhale, exhale, bring one hand, push it to the floor, press, 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 now maybe drop those legs a little bit lower, press, press, doesn't matter here whether you've got super straight legs, as long as your intention is good and you're burning with me, you're going to switch hands in eight, in seven, switch that pump, in five, in four, chin to the chest, three, two, one, switch, pump, pump, press, press, give that pump meaning, push something heavy into the floor, like you really want that last bit of hand sanitizer at the bottom, squeeze, 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 you have six, five, hands under the thighs in four, three, two, one, grab the thighs, chin to chest, lift higher, harder, drop those legs lower, you can do this, you're going to press both hands away, now push, press, 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 squeeze the hands down, inhale in, exhale, inhale in, so this is just like your Pilates hundreds, squeeze the floor down, you've got five, who's sweating, four, three, two, one, Oh, well the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little rock. You're gonna send the feet to the floor. Bring your hands, interlace your fingertips, pop them behind the head. The feet walk up nice and close towards your sit bones here. Inhale, exhale, squeeze the chin to the chest. Lift the head, neck, shoulders up, Woo! and lower back down to the floor. Inhale, the breath in. Exhale, squeeze chin to chest, lift all the way up into a crunch, low back down. So you should feel this in those rectus abdominals into your upper abs here. That sculpts out your waistline today. How high can you get your head, neck, shoulders off the floor using your abs? So forget about the legs. Try not to grip your hip flexors, which is here, the front of your hips. Try not to grip them and think about taking this all in those abdominals. Lift, low back down. Now you have just three, we can do this. Lift up and low back down, sliding your head, neck, shoulders off the floor. Lift all the way up and lower down. Now try not to let the elbows move as you lift into your crunch. Eye line comes forward. So now you're gonna bring your eye line onto your thighs. Bring one hand round, bring the other hand round. Any shoulders or neck injuries, keep the hands behind the head. If you wanna take the full advancement, you're gonna squeeze your fingertip round to the heel, back through the center. But you'll notice my upper back is off the floor. That is because I want that burn. I want that sculpt out of my waistline. So I'm keeping my upper back off the floor. Eye line is forwards. So you want to bring the eye line on top of your knees. Squeeze, center. Working on your obliques now. And those upper abs. You've got this. One more through the center, hands go behind the head, lower down for two, oh my gosh, exhale, lift it up, inhale, exhale, we're in it together, I know it's burning, it's burning me too, trust me, low back down, let's do it, lift all the way up, Woo. low back down, let's go, four more, lower, three more, lower, Two more of the faces I make. And low back down. I make these faces in the gym, I'm sure. People think I'm crazy. Lift your head, neck, shoulders up. Raise the hands around. Now tap, tap, tap. Give me everything. Reach around to those toes. Try to keep those knees still. Little side reach. You have five, four, three, two, one. Lay yourself down towards the floor. Reach the hands over the top of the head. Interlace the fingertips. Big breath in. As you exhale, flex the palms behind yourself. Take a little flexed or pointed foot and draw the body as long as you physically can so you'll find a really nice stretch there through the abdominals. I want you to bring yourself now onto your side. So pop the hands down by the sides and roll onto your front. My mic might cut off now, but we're gonna take a cobra. 
lift the head, neck, shoulders away from the floor, roll the shoulder blades backwards and down. The hands start around the shoulders, and then you push and lengthen, lift the eye line forward onto the horizon, roll the shoulders backwards and down, final length through the abs. Child's pose. Toes together, open through the knees, inhale, exhale. Slowly roll yourself all the way up. Tricep stretch, you're gonna bring your hand closest towards your device again, behind the head. Elbow to the ceiling, this hand goes down the center of the back. Stay here, yoga influence, if you wanna go there, find a full bind where you grab a hold of the fingertips and just stay there, inhale. Exhale, it's up to you what option you take. Let the hands go safely. Bring the other hand behind the back. The elbow goes to the ceiling. The fingertips spread down the center of the back. Keep the eye line forwards. Keep the spine in a neutral. Option to take a bind. Grab the fingertips. Depends how bendy you are feeling today. Or if you want to work towards this. You're just trying to creep those fingertips nice and close. You should feel stretched down the back of the arm into the tricep area. Let the hands drop, give yourself a little shoulder roll around. Into a glute stretch now. I want you to come to a seated position. Pop your right foot over the top of your left knee. Draw the left knee in and push that leg backwards. And you should find the nice deep stretch through the glute. We did that a lot of glute work today, so it's really nice to stretch it off. And then popping the other leg over the top of the knee, draw the knee backwards, drive through the knee. Send that stretch down the outside of the leg. Then bring both the feet round towards the back carefully. Tuck the toes under, downward dog today. Drive the heels to the floor, press the hips high, creating that V position. So that upside down V, like the V's got a little bit drunk. <laughs> you can drive the heels to the floor, walk the hands in towards the feet, fold yourself over, hamstring stretch. Lose any tension you have in your head, in your shoulders. Let the crown of the head fall towards the floor. Find a length behind the back of the knees. Maybe give yourself a little rock back, gently. A little rock forward, see the difference. Can you find a deeper stretch as you rock backwards and forwards down the back of the legs? Bend through the knees, drop the coccyx, the sit bones towards the floor and sequentially slowly controlled roll all the way up through the spine, roll through the shoulders. It's the last thing to come all the way up. Bring the hands together, prep position, ground the feet into the floor, roll the shoulders backwards and down, pull the belly button in. Think about lengthening through the body, think about all the posture, the technique you've worked on today. Breathe in, inhale. Breathe, exhale. And well done in your 30, nearly one minute workout with me today. Hope you loved that barless bar workout. Make sure you drop me any feedback and comments down below in the comment section. And I will definitely see you again next time for another burn, another shake. Bye.